Um, so I'm happy to introduce our second speaker for today, Ban Ye, uh, from Harvard University, and he'll tell us about transformations in singular instant time of the moment. Yeah, thank you very much for the invitation. And my title is to talk in the singular instant homology. This is a in progress work trying to deep touch Bukhat and also Jeffrey. And as you may see right now, I already write down some names here because these names are like motivating our uh, work. So uh, yeah, I will first start with uh, Krohammer work as famous uh, results about the unmarked detection. So in 2011, Hammer Roca constructs a spectral sequence uh, from, uh, from the point of homology of the mirror box to the singular instant eye shot of K. And also, there's a reduced version, which is uh, from the reduced point of homology to some reduced version of. Uh, singular instant homology. For those who are not familiar with singular instant homology, I will just draw some picture to, to say the eye shot of K is actually we apply some uh, functor uh, from instant time for the mass K. But here we add an extra uh, offlink with uh, R, which represents the stable mini class of the bundle. So this is our construction for I shot of K, this is called chart. And also there are another version for I natural. This one is basically we consist again a bit of the not K. And then we we put a earring around the not K and also we add a the winning class like this. So this is our definition for an echo. This is for an echo. And moreover, they uh, they prove that uh, the the reduced version of singular instant homology, maybe over complex coefficient, is isomorphic to uh, k phi of k, where k phi is the uh, is the future instant time. Uh, super instant homology um, yeah, introduced by uh, Bernhard Mosca and also it is mentioned by uh, yeah, mentioned by James Hawk. So uh, also this one is the singular instant and this one is the super instant. So uh, so the reason to relate these two things is is because here uh, on the super instant. There's another theorem by Hammer <laughs> of It is, uh, there is, exists a data grading uh, on, on the super easy. That's the main reason to uh, transfer this one to this one. And then uh, also we have that the top of the data grading uh, detects. Genus, which is very similar to the uh, eagle floor version provided by Ini and other people. So, uh, so then from this two theorem, we have a corollary, which is the uh, unmatched detection, is that if the reduced version of the colonel is Z, or maybe equivalently, the unreduced version is two copy of Z, then uh, this is the same as K is just the unmatched yeah, from this two mixer. Yeah, I would just say it's uh, like so from this uh, spectral sequence and also that something that is one dimensional, we can uh, we know that the reduced version is also one dimensional because there's a dimension equality. And then uh, if we apply this uh, isomorphism to transfer the singular one to super one, and then we know this super one is also one dimensional, at least uh, on the C coefficient. And then on the random side, uh, there's a random grid lines, and then the type the genus is if it's just one dimensional, then we know that it is genus zero, and then it must be an unmatched. That's the basic idea of the proof. So the so the strategy in this proof is that 
sometimes like we reconstruct something on the left hand side about singularity and then we use such isomorphism to pass the singular instant to the super instant. And then in the super instant, we have uh, Alexander Grady, which is uh, which just has more structure and we can deal with it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a good question. And I think uh, Ali and Chris has some more progressing work to find some Alexander Grady on the singular instant. So yeah, and now in the literature we will just pass through this great and you get that other number. Okay. And then uh, let me also mention more facts about the polynomial homology. This is just some um, computation. Is for the triple, the how reduced polynomial homology is uh, Z2 plus Z2 plus Z2. This one is the same as the cohomology of the sphere derives from this uh, cohomology of SO3 uh, in this position, uh, which is the, actually the same as uh, cohomology of the representation variety, where I will give a the definition of the representation variety as follows is fundamental group to the SU2 so that the meridian of the knots and K is sent to the Trislet uh, element, where we, so here we, we don't have uh, no conjugation. We, we don't conjugate it by some SU2 or SO3. We just consider the representation variety. And it turns out that for triple knots, the representation variety is exactly the different union of S2 and SO3, and this is just a coincidence. And moreover, we have, say, for more torus knots, a T2 and plus one. This is actually V2 derived from this V2 uh, many copy of this. It is again the same as the uh, representation variety. So, uh, actually, from these examples or also other computable examples, there's a conjecture by Shumakovich uh, that is for any uh, knot that is unknot to unknot, the coanal homology has to function. So, actually, the original general conjecture is for, say, for any name, but yeah, this state is for not because in this talk I would just consider not. So, here it is proof. Uh, for alternate knots. And also, uh, there is some remark that uh, exists to do function if and only if the dimension of KH in F2 coefficient, in Z2 coefficient, is larger than the Z coefficient. That's basically how we find the two function. And the third thing is. The under the spectral sequence, uh, well, two function may appear or disappear because, for example, if we have two copy of uh, Z and the differential is two in the spectral sequence, then we will just get V mod two after spectral sequence. So if, they, if we start with V mod two, uh, two copy of V mod two, and then uh, there's a differential of maybe just one, then we just get nothing. So the problem here is that even though we have a spectral sequence rate, uh, polynomial homology and a singular instant homology, uh, the two functions may just appear and disappear in the spectral sequence. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's, uh, six. And then, so then I will say more about singular instant homology to get motivated it is uh, so the I shall of K is uh, roughly as I said before is the homology of the this uh, representation variety with the neutral the Morse differential but the in some deformation which we describe as uh, instant differential. 
So this is not the actual definition, it's just the idea of the definition. Then there exists uh, some more spot uh, spectral sequence uh, from, from this uh, the usual homology to the singular uh, singular instance. Well, again, what the problem is that two functions can appear or disappear uh, in the um, in the spectral sequence. So then we may have a naturally have a question that is. Uh, do we have two functions in the singular instant time? In I shall, okay. This is the first question I propose. And then uh, before moving on, I would say like uh, there are not many, uh, not many examples are computed for or I shall, okay. And then maybe only T to N. Or by Graham Rocha, like from the spectral sequence, or also a sum work by uh, Hayden, Harris, and Kirk. Uh, they studied the, the, the generator of uh, this complex, and which gave us uh, an upper bounds of this. And also, we may also study uh, or ask the following question is is, is there any two functions in I shot of Y, which also introduced uh, three, four, by one. This one, uh, I will write the definition, uh, the, the, the definition as just I natural of Y uh, with an unknown inside, so that we can just consider it as a, uh, as a not homology. So for this one, uh, we can also ask about, about like, if do we have two clustering on it? Then uh, for this one, there are many computations uh, over uh, over C, but not over Z. So by um, for example, trace Gendo, and also uh, logging uh, Civic. And oh, for over C, I think uh, now up to my knowledge, uh, the the computation, I guess, is for double branch power of alternating link. Uh, it's also followed by a schedule's work. Oh, sorry. Because there's a spectral sequence from the uh, odd polynomial to the double branch power of uh, infinite. Okay. Then, uh, and any questions so far? Okay, so then let me state the main theorem of today's talk. So it is uh, the main theorem theory when k is not the unknowns and it is fiber, then I shall of k as two functions. This is our first theorem that answer question one partially. And also we have a second theorem. Uh, it is when the genus of the knot is uh, larger than one, then the half surgery on the knot K, this one has uh, two functions. So this is by uh, Gopas, and Jukun, and I also. Yeah. So, this is the main theorem for the fiber that doesn't require fiber. Uh, no, uh, previously we need the fiber condition, but now we remove it. So, actually, we generalize the ordinance. Okay, so then there are some, some remarks about, about this true main theorem. Sorry, what, what, what is this? What is it? The last uh, line. Uh, the last line. It's a uh, half surgery on the last A has uh, has two functions, and also the half surgery is some yeah, just for some technical reason. Actually, our technique can be expanded to other cases, but this is this are two and main theorem to this and. 
So the, uh, there are some remarks. It is first, there's a conjecture by Prokhan Morocco uh, that the suture instant homology of a knot plane is uh, isomorphic to the data flow homology of the knot plane. And also, I shot of y is isomorphic to h hat of y. And then the, the conjecture is based over complex coefficient, which is actually important because uh, the conjecture from the uh, from examples we know that h of k has and also h of has uh, have uh, no caution. So uh, the case is, you know, on the right hand side, usually there are no caution over Z, but uh, this one, at least for this one, our theorem says that there are two caution. So on the uh, on the Z coefficient, you cannot uh, compare them. So also there are some example that's known from uh, Mike Miller and Ali, and they also agree is that uh, the for the complex sphere, uh, this one has d mod 2 and even d mod 4 summon. So which is in, uh, and by the way, like on the C, on the C coefficient, we as we all know that it's just uh, one in But on the C, on the C coefficient, it is not uh, one dimension. So which means we do not uh, expect uh, isomorphism both uh, over. And I think I will come back to this part uh, if I have time at the end of the talk to say more things about the theory. Okay. And then uh, I will also say some remarks about that two theorems. It is so the first remark is anything like why do we need to assume this? The case is if G is one, actually we this is more careful to study. Uh, we can prove that uh, those for K is not like uh, the right hand trigger, which means the only amount we cannot deal with it is the right hand trigger. So uh, and here, like for other knots, you know, other than one knot, other than the uh, right hand trigger, we also know that it can have two possible. So this is the, and uh, for the, for this special example, we um, it's well know that it's the uh, some box and sphere two three eleven with opposite orientation, and also actually we could uh, compute the number of two functions in this group is if, if we just define the number of two to be the number of uh, two functions. This is defined by half of the C mod 2 coefficient minus uh, the C coefficient. Why well, it just follows the universal coefficients of zero. And then we will have the result that actually the two torsion of the half surgery, uh, we, we got the lower bound that is two times AHI of not K in the top Alana grading. Uh, minus one, and maybe we can add more terms. It is two times the two torsion in uh, I natural of K one, but maybe this time um, you can just get rid of it because it just is uh, larger or equal to this. So this inequality means if it's fiber, then uh, well we we can have a, a two torsion and it's like one uh, we have one two torsion. Because for fiber knots, this is one dimensional. But for non fiber knots, actually, we have more two functions. This is the, like a good improvement of that theorem. That's the hashtag two that the question rank of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. So, so for here, it's actually yeah, for the dimension or rank of it. It's not the number of uh, Yeah, it's not the number of two functions. So later, I will use. Uh, I will omit the dimension in many inequalities. Okay, yeah, K1 is, yeah, I will also use this mod later, but the dimension it is the 
is the do not inside the one surgery. Uh, and this is the do not, which we will use later. And this is the two remarks and uh, uh, any more questions for the statement? Yes. You show that the non trivial connected sum that's important. Non trivial connected sum. Uh, okay. Yeah, actually, I think our tactics can. Well, I just think about it, but um, hopefully we can do this because the technique is more flexible than the statement of the theorem. Yeah, so I will go to the argument and then maybe here. We'll see. Okay, so uh, yeah, so let's move to the the idea of the proof, uh, which uh, I already described back of the blackboard. Or there are many statements, but uh, let me expand them one by one. Uh, I'll extend them one by one. So first, let me copy the theorem here. So that's one. So the theorem A, theorem A is uh, yeah, five words imply I sharp on A has two functions, and the theorem B. Is uh, just one genus uh, larger than one, the half surgery has two functions. So then that's the uh, that's the strategy of the proof, but I will expand um, uh, one by one. So first, uh, we will need some exact angles to get some dimension in quality from, uh, from different manifolds and different uh, uh, instant homology. So uh, the first theorem, uh, well, the first thing is a theorem by Kuhat is there is a there is this exact triangle between I shop of uh, uh, the anthology of the not A and uh, M plus Q surgery, or maybe I would in the state plus N equals to zero or simplicity. And the third term now is no longer, uh, it, it's a, uh, now it's a uh, singular instance or not. Not for close event. So this is the uh, the near input we have. It is so this works over Z or Z mod two or C. But uh, here we will first just use uh, use uh, Z mod two version. Uh, I have a question. Do you, do you have anything about financial any? Uh, yeah, that's our next step, but at least for now, I don't have any good statement for it. Okay. So th these are um, these results that you stated. There are specific I sharp. Yeah, there's a specific I sharp, and uh, also I sharp or not, or I sharp string. I'm not sure. I think the yeah, the remark I read there is only one uh, because we just get the the other ones for it. But I, I want to mention more about this. Okay, so so this is a, a general um, kind of um, exact angle which works for any knots may or any any three manifold. So here we use some trick. We we can change the framing of the knots. Say that's a new is that new prime. To be mu plus lambda, and lambda prime is minus mu, where mu and lambda they're uh, they're the meridian and longitudes for the original knots. Then in this case, a easy calculation tells us that 
q mu plus lambda prime is equal to mu plus q lambda. So here, if we do such a framing change, uh, we will get the, the first exact angle I write here is that you know the zero surgery which corresponds to lambda becomes now becomes minus mu. So we just get at three. And then the two surgery uh, here becomes a half surgery. We get something here like this. And then the, the infinity surgery which corresponds to a new prime is becomes one surgery. That's where the one surgery appears and also the half surgery appears. So uh, so from the first exact triangle, we will uh, just exactly get a dimension and uh, inequality this is for dimension is that uh, this one is larger or equal to uh, this one minus one because we know uh, I sharp uh, at three is one so this is the uh, so this is the uh, First exact angle we use. And then uh, I will take a second exact angle, which I already write down here, but over C. And uh, we will use the printing chain again. But here I will just state uh, exact angle for 0 to x infinity. And then we can just use the printing chain to get that one. So the second one is actually follows from uh, I's work. It is there exists triangle in triangles uh, between I sharp of uh, over C, I sharp of zero surgery uh, of the zero surgery of the knots to Hi of K1, where K1 is the two knots, and then the third term is the Hi of the original ones. And also, there's another triangle that's two Hi. So these are two triangles. We uh, and I use in our papers for many times. And here it is like a, a simple version of it. So uh, the, the way to understand it is that uh, in, usually in the exact triangle, we need to consider the zero surgery, one surgery, and infinity surgery. But this is for uh, I stop of the closed remainder. But here, the case is we replace two of them by the not homology of the two knots. So that's actually still the zero, one infinity surgery, but now only one of them is the I sharp, and the other two is actually the not homology. And well, the proof is uh, it's based on the surgery that kind of, so we can safely just replace this thing by attract paths and this thing by attract patterns. The proof is very similar. And also here, the second one is uh, similar, but it's just and pretty. So the trick is always we can uh, find the exact triangle, then we change the framing to get a bunch of other exact triangles. So here I will uh, for this map alpha, this map beta, and then. Uh, we have, uh, we can get from these two exact triangles a third one that is, uh, sorry, that, was this one that you were even better to think of an I sharp of zero surgery as I nat H I of the Anna? Yeah, so here is actually I natural of, yeah, this is the Anna, but first, yeah, this is the, our definition. Or maybe, this can extend some by that, like that. Now this is the uh, surgery thing. But like you have to be surgery, then the course of the surgery is already all of them. Uh, so here two of them are not, and the third one is the unknown. So that we can pass the unknown one to the eye shop. Okay. 
close your you take a two component link, which is just two copies of A, frame and it's throw away, just a new and then do yeah, do the surgery on the one page surgery. Yeah, 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 it's a good time. We have the yeah. A, and then we have another copy of A, something like this on the face, and then do the surgery on this. Uh, on this is it ever the heavy to surgery rectangle or a parallel copy of the face? Yeah, 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 exactly. And yeah, and this is uh, we use different training plans. So, uh, here I, I report, uh, I call this to have alpha and beta. It's because I want to apply the uh, of Akira lemma for these two diagrams. So from um, Akira uh, lemma, we will get uh, a new exact angle between the zero surgery to the two surgery. Uh, and also the third term will be a mapping form of uh, of alpha on screen. This is the angle we we can get from this situation. Uh, just by uh, algebra that one. So, and then uh, basically we can change the framing again so that uh, we get the second exact angle here. You know that this is as three as a half. But now this becomes K1, and, and this uh, alpha beta is a map between uh, is a map about the KHI of the original knot K, but now we need to change the framing so that the knot K should be replaced by uh, K1. And now I just use another like alpha prime and beta prime, if you know this. And then we have uh, exact angle over C like this. And following the second uh, exact angle, we will again get the dimension inequality. It is uh, say this one is less than the dimension of cone of uh, and plus one, where the one is again comes from uh, I sharp of S3. Yeah, so that's actually the trick. It is we establish the same the similar exact angle. Uh, over Z mod 2 and also over C, and then we use the fact that for S3, uh, or um, like it is just um, a copy of Z, so in any field, it is just one dimension, so that we can get minus one plus one here. Okay, and then uh, I will um, expand the uh, like the rest of the facts, uh, which are uh, which follows uh, other. Post results. So the first thing, uh, well, the third thing is, is this one. So the dimension of I sharp is always, well, this is the dimension. So the dimension of the I sharp is always two times the dimension of the I natural uh, in the two equation. This is, uh, this follows from uh, Rohammer Murphy's results, and also I think it's from uh, Ali and uh, Ali and Chris uh, results um, in the in the equivalent sentence that uh, but this uh, equality only holds over uh, over sigma two. That's actually the important ingredient to get a two point. And then the fourth uh, formula is actually this universal this universal coefficient theorem is that for the uh, initial the the F2 coefficient, the dimensional F2 coefficient is larger or equal to the C coefficient, which is uh, well known for any homology theory. And here to get the dimension, actually we can just add the two times two times the uh, two torching of I natural of K1. So this is also just following following the definition. But uh, since, I mean, this part I want say more about the part I natural, I just I would just use the inequality theory. Okay. And also the base uh, equation, well I stated at the beginning of my talk, it is over complex coefficient, we will all always know that the uh, I natural of uh, of the uh, K is the same as uh, is sutured in syntax. So it's uh, isomorphism through by from Hammer Rock 
from the singular instanton to suture instanton. Okay, and then I think the final ingredient is most important. This is in our, yeah, I will explain more about this. So, if you know that these three statements, they're kind of formal, and these two are new ingredients. And also, we do need to compute the rank of the composition of the two maps. This is also important to get the two functions. So if, if the, the rank is just trivial, then actually we cannot get any two parts. But here actually we could prove that the rank is uh, at least uh, two times the top dimension of the DHI, which I will explain later. So uh, assume this, uh, the whole statement and like combine them all, we would just get the following uh, result, which I based in my remark before it is the two. The, two part, the number of two portion of the half surgery is larger or equal to uh, two times this minus one, where two times this uh, comes from this, and this minus one uh, basically comes from the uh, asterisk. And that's the sketch of the idea. And I will explain more about the uh, alpha prime and beta prime so that we can actually compute for many examples. So uh, here, let me uh, explain the idea about alpha prime and beta prime. So first, let me just remind you Basically, the R bond that this is from, and that's the first uh, study, R bond and beta, that has to R bond and beta bond. So for R bond and beta, uh, the beta map is from this one to AHI of A1, and the R bond map is from a1 to K itself. So there's a opposition by uh, and I is that uh, this is this follows our uh, recent work in universal formula. It is the composition of uh, alpha and beta is D1 plus plus D1 minus. I will explain more about these two maps later, but let me say the formal property of them. So the reason to call them D1 plus and D1 minus is because they shift the Alzana gradient by plus and minus one. Yeah, that's, that's easy to remember it um, here at time from um, okay. And then, uh, so, because of the Alzheimer's grading, we can use the following trick. When G is larger than one, then the rank of alpha of space theta is larger or equal to rank of D1 plus, but restricts on G minus one, and plus rank of D1 minus, but restricts on one minus. So here the trick is uh, they because they have different gradient shift and also what this is based on the fact that there are another gradient of the on the KHI, because they have different gradient shifts and then when G is larger than one, then uh, we can just split them and compute the rank of uh, the each um, each map. And actually there is a symmetry of them, so actually the, these two things are equal. Uh, yeah, this, and so the only thing we need to compute is actually uh, faster is uh, compute rank of D1 plus. So here the, the trick is in, if we just compute our accomplished beta, it's hard, but if we just uh, restrict it to one grading, it might be easier. And also say for for some. Example like force knots or L-based knots, 
uh, actually this is uh, if we could compute uh, the the differentials on the on all readings, which give us uh, like uh, better results. But here uh, to get a uh, uniform results like A and B, uh, we will just focus on uh, focus on the next top grid. Then, uh, so uh, let's see. and uh, here many stages. I mean, there is this. So, uh, if, so there's a proposition by myself recently that is uh, D1 plus minus uh, restrict to G minus one. This is the decade. Uh, not for not for the origin plus, but uh, let me put uh, the decade onto uh, a dash i of the knots. Uh, so the trick here is that remember that we we will consider the rank of R of prime comes with beta prime. Not the original, uh, not the original R and beta. So here we can just study the uh, uh, the, the D1 plus and D1 minus on this uh, on this one. So there is D1 plus minus, they call it prime, and prime here. And then uh, I can just prove that uh, for these do not, uh, it is subjective. So subjective means uh, the rank of D1 plus minus uh, restrict on this thing is at least uh, just KHI of the knot A1 and G, which is uh, the same as KHI. Uh, yeah. This is the this is the trick for for the for the this formula. So uh, so for this thing, um, I would say that the proof for this is basically use the integral theory formula for this. Is that uh, if we start to start with the do not a one and then do uh, and then do minus one surgery, minus one surgery on a one uh, gives gives S three. And so this fact is important. It's also you again use the fact that it is a not in S3. So uh, if we do minus one surgery on, on, on not A1, we have a, uh, we have an integral surgery formula, and then uh, we know that I sharp of S3 is just one dimensional. So if it's if, if it is not subjective, then we can construct two elements. In the in the integral surgery formula or medical surgery formula, medical formula, and then it will validate uh, something that is given as true. So then it has to be subjective. And so so the thing is that uh, maybe the next question is, uh, can we understand more about d one plus or d one minus on the original knots? Okay. So the question is uh, for some. For some concrete knots, uh, we could compute it, but they, in general, they, for any knots or uh, yeah, I think for any fiber knots, we know uh, it is not true. This follows the following exhibit results, but uh, for any knots, it's hard to say anything about this. And that's why, like previously, we just apply the theorem B to just take the theorem B for all fiber knots because we want to apply. The, the results um, from modern acidic about fiber knot, but now we can just remove it because this uh, this only rely on the integral surgery formula and can work for uh, any knots. Okay, so and then this this gave us the uh, proof of theorem B, and uh, later I will move to theorem A. Any questions?
So is it integral circuits or like that? Is that only for upcoming with lots of energy? Uh, so the integral circuit formula, we uh, can find I already proved it on the level of center. And also, well, the similar results can apply to And this one. And then let's move to theorem A. So the theorem A is a uh, is based on the following facts, which we will prove uh, is I top of K, the C dimensional is isomorphic to form of D1 plus uh, plus D1 minus. So actually this one is alpha constant state. So yeah, the reason I stayed here as uh, I I stayed as a uh, composition of alpha and beta is actually like this this one is the things uh, in our mind is actually just the I top of K in the complex coefficient. And then we have a proposition by volume and civic. Uh, as I said before, it is one K fibers, uh, the rank of D one plus minus um, G minus one, other than, and then I, so the next, the, the two function on um, I drop of K, is the same as rank of d1 plus plus d1 minus uh, this is part of that uh, and then this will imply so the so the proof of zero a uh, the reason we we, don't, we need the fiber condition is because and now we we only know that yeah, this is non trivial for iron hearts, but maybe take the ego protella, we know it is non trivial for uh, or alternating knots in instant time. We are going to prove this, but not to or or alternating knots, some some of them, and also for torus knots, we can prove it and uh, and we can actually come through the whole uh, whole differentials. So that's there's a remark that uh, we can compute. Uh, I drop of K for for uh, knots uh, are alpha knots, and for alpha knots, it's easy to uh, understand the, the whole differentials on the KHI. In particular, we know the differential D1 plus and D1 minus. And then from this formula, we can just compute I drop of K. And well, if we just comp compute I drop of K in complex coefficient and then use the machinery here, like the, all these statements, then uh, we will just get two options for uh, I drop of K. And that's the basic idea. And actually, we can also get a lower bounds of the uh, two functions for I drop of K, but that depends on the uh, depends on the study of the rank of D one plus. So yeah, so yeah. then uh, because I still have some time, I will mention some something about the bigger uh, form model. So the the question in for pickup homology 
is that how to define uh, atrap a sharp or maybe unreduce uh, uh, a. So uh, the, the reason to consider this is because you know uh, there's a spectral sequence for uh, from a um, homology to i sharp of a. So if we could define similar thing. Uh, maybe we can also study like the spectral sequence from homology to some version of uh, unreduced last homology. And well, for the reduced version, it is proved by uh, Nathan Dowling. And there's also, maybe also we can conduct some unreduced version. So here, uh, I will say some properties I want for this unreduced version. That is uh, for first for the unknown, uh, it should be uh, two copy of Z, but let's say it's the minor Z. And second, for I think this is kind of tricky, but I, I will just say it here is that over F2 coefficient, it is two copy of uh, the reduced version. So uh, this is kind of subtle because usually Higginbotham theory is defined over F2, and also the third thing, which is the first thing, the Oh, sorry, for each of these are for the uh, For animals, uh, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah. So the third thing is uh, motivated from that proposition is we want uh, exact triangle. They over C between uh, here is E one Z plus E one W. Um, and the third term is H one. So where E one Z and E one W, there are two maps. Uh, so E one Z and E one W. There are two maps uh, coming uh, homomorphic is uh, passing the base points Z and or W just once. And uh, I think mm, this is related to the map defined by uh, Shaka is in Shaka's and he just for it by and psi. And also uh, later, um, Ian Zemke studied some um, related math, which also supports similar things. So, yeah, and then uh, well, this is the question about Higaflor, and I want to propose some version of uh, Higaflor homology satisfied such a proposition, but now I just well, find some weird thing between. Uh, between Ethan and Pigaflor, which doesn't match. Okay, so I'm just taking just two counting position and some Yeah, yeah. So I, I want to uh, mention this. Okay. So so here there are, there are actually already some unreduced version of uh, uh Pigaflor homology. Uh, I guess first is by following and the main. And also, uh, the idea is yeah, just that uh, uh, we just take the usual uh, attract k hat of the not k and just join with uh, unknowns, and which is the same as uh, this two copy of uh, this answer. And, uh, yeah, two, uh, at least on the uh, on the module. And this is the original or naive definition for this. And later, uh, and I think on this work, uh, also construct some uh, some version like SLM like uh, and, uh, and which includes 
uh, this thing has better pace because this is for uh, for minus three. And then uh, also we have another obstruction is by ultra if this and double. Uh, it is so called unoriented uh, master homology. So, this one is defined by T or just over user complex CFK. And now the differential Vx is basically sum of uh, this is the usual thing, uh, uh, modular space. But now we put U. And W phi plus N B. Maybe I will use a different other values. So the so the usual definition for the uh, not homology is that we only consider the N W of phi uh, for the U variable, and we which which will compute attract N minus, which has the uh, at U module, but now in their construction, they actually add an extra term that is, we not just consider and that we, we also consider and Z, we consider some of them, or maybe if we, if we consider the general setup, it is U to the and W and B to the and Z, this is by uh, and and then here is in the slide with the stats. U to be B, and, and then we will get this uh, construction. So for this construction, uh, we if we want to uh, realize a property like this, then think that oh, and so in this construction, uh, let's call it DFA five. So we have uh, DFA. So there's a there are also f at a prime as the, as the homology. And then if we consider the hash version, which means we just set u to be zero, we will just get the user at version. But now if we consider the data, there's a if we consider the second page of the of this construction, so which means uh, there is the factor difference between h of k prime to h of x of y. And then we can consider the second page. Uh, so this is e1, this is infinity. And if we consider e2 defined as h of k, uh, h of r, that seems to satisfy such kind of uh, Exact triangle, but over F2, that's the tricky part. So if we define it to be this, we will get H of A uh, to H of A and to H of A sharp, but over F2. And where the, the map here is actually the uh, map here is B1Z plus. B1W, which uh, comes from the definition of the unoriented uh, homology. So you may, you may notice that uh, here, the for instance, term I want over F2 is something like the, the dimension is two times uh, of K times, but on the C coefficient, the dimension is uh, well, there's an exact triangle. So a very naive version. Is that well? We just add uh, something. Let's say D, D, and D, and then we just add two here. Yeah. So this is a very nice version of this, uh, which corresponds to the fact that here we just add U to be V to be two times H. We're like, but it's not a uh, I, I don't think it's the best definition for this, but I think this uh, gives us some idea to 
find the relation between these and the uh, Okay, so now we just stop here.